Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a school of fire makeup. Basically, it's going to be spirit week next week for me, and Friday is blue and gold, so I'm going to be wearing school spirit makeup, even though I'm not going to the game on Friday. Well, I might. If it's a home game, I think it is, then I will do. If not, then I won't go. But that's all it is. So, let's get started. Let's start off. Um, put my hair back. This looks cute like this. But anyway, not the purpose I want it to do. Anyway, I'm just gonna start with BB cream, and I am using Maybelline's Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream, and this is the medium. And as always, I'm just gonna apply it with a brush. I don't know why I don't use my fingers anymore, I just don't. You definitely can. I'm just not. And you're just gonna blend it in in circular motions. And with that, I'm just gonna um, just use concealer. I'm gonna be using Elf's Tone Correcting Concealer. Looks like this. I really love this one because it's inexpensive. It's a dollar. It covers and it smells so good. It smells fruity. Like, um, if you've ever been to an Asian store and you got the um, gum there, it smells just like that, I feel like. It smells so good. And I'm just gonna conceal my dark circles because of the brush that I use for my BB cream and my concealer is the Bubby HD Flawless. Okay, now on to eyes, and I'm just going to be taking my Clinique Color Search Palette, and I'm just going to take Coffee Shop Duo with a smudger brush, and I'm just going to run it along just the outer V, and yeah, just the outer V. And you don't want this to be, oh, you don't want this to be very dark. Just, you just want it to um, add some definition. And I've been wearing my makeup like this a lot lately. And this isn't my own thing. It is from Michelle Fon Michelle Fon's video for Cara Devine. I think that's how you say it. Okay, so that's the finished look. For the eyeshadows, kind of not the finished look. Okay, so I just have this little art palette that I usually use for paint, but I haven't been painting very much because I'm out of paint and canvas because I'm poor. But yeah, so I just filled some of it in with water, and now you're just going to take a angled brush. I'm just using my 265 brush, 266 brush, and I'm just gonna dip it in water. So I'm just going to dip in water and then I'm going to take my Spooky Eyes palette from Claire's and I'm just going to take this blue. I'm going to run it along and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm just going to take the blue and I'm going to mix it in with some black just to make it a little bit darker because my school color is navy blue and gold. Now I'm just going to do a winged cat eye shape eyeliner with the blue. Like so. I'm just gonna fill it in, and if you want to, you can always change it to your school colors. And I'm probably gonna be making this just a bit okay, So there's the winged. I don't think I did a very good job at making them even, but oh well. <laughs> so now you're just gonna take a gold. I'm using my Mac double feature. The gold. It has a. I did this look. Before, well, I tried it before, 
So long as that line, it's still gold. But yeah, so I'm gonna do the same thing, but on the bottom lash. And I'll show you in a second. I am taking the gold. It's gonna go under my lash line and just line it. You can always use an actual eyeliner. This is just what I'm doing. And I'm just going under my lashes. To put on the gold. And it might be a little bit hard to see because the light. No, the light's really bright right now. But, yeah, so... Just going to take that gold and then I'm just going to wing it out and I'm going to leave a little space in between the white, uh, the navy and the gold. like so. So we'll do the other side and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, afterwards you're just gonna do the same technique but instead you're going to be using a white. This is gonna be using the white for my spooky eye palette. If I can get it in there. And I'm just gonna go in between the navy and the gold. That might be a little of a tight fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over it with a this a um, dry white and I'm going to highlight my inner corner and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm basically done with the shadows and the eyeliner. I, that's what I did. I might go over the gold a bit or just so that it's more noticeable. But before I do that, I'm just going to take a black Eyeliner. I'm just using Chanel's Style Yolks Waterproof in a Britain, like usual. And I'm just gonna tight line my upper line, I guess. So that's it for the eyeshadows. Next, is, next you're just gonna curl your lashes and apply mascara. I'm going to be using Hard Candies. Ginormous Lash Mascara. Looks like this. I absolutely love it. And apply it and I'll be right back. After you're done with that, I'm just going to take an eyebrow powder. I am using Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. Like always. And I'm just going to be using a pencil brush to fill in my eyebrows. Okay, so next is blush, and I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. And I'm going to apply it with my Essence of Beauty powder brush. It's just a little travel size brush. Blush looks like this. You don't need a lot. I, yeah, you don't need a lot. It's going to apply it on my cheekbones. Any leftover, just brush it over your face. Next is lips, and that's the finale. And you want, I'm gonna go for a nude look, but since I can't find my 
chapstick, which is what I consider a nude lip, or my lipstick touch in my backpack, I think. I'm just going to be taking my NYX Lip Spacking Fun Colors in Strawberry Milk. And I really don't use this color at all. I've only used it a couple times. There's this much product left. I don't use it because it does not look good on me. Let me just wash it. As you can see, it's a very Nicki Minaj pink. And it just doesn't look good on me. So, to help it look better on me, I'm just going to be taking my pinky, putting some lipstick on, and applying it on my lips. And hopefully it won't be that vibrant. Okay, so that is my finished look. You can definitely go ahead and add your school mascot name on here. I might, or I might just leave it like this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time.